Hello guys, thanks for tuning in on another episode of Bam the Petrolhead and today we have David's beautiful 240M, absolutely amazing. He's got lots of mods done on this one. I can't wait to take this little one out for a spin. Please stay tuned guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We've got much more coming in. Putting the work for years for this, this ain't no coincidence. Back then when I was so They curved the kid back then when I was so lit Now I'm lit, they're pissed off, bro, bro Now you gotta take it slow, but he knows Try pace so he won't go lit We're 3 for 3 now 6 for 6 Put in the work for years for this This ain't no coincidence I did have to take them trips Shit, they talk your shit and they make me sick I said fuck school and they made me rich We did so crack on the 80s ting The jinx on us and they pray we slip Said fuck school and I brought the... We're going for the first spin The exhaust sounds amazing on this it's still too quiet for me. <laughs> Whoa. It's never too loud. Yeah, it's never too Okay, this car, my next time gone. <laughs> so it's such a nice place to be, man. I like it. They really thought about everything when doing this car. Like the seats, they don't it, like the thing about BMWs. They always make them feel the same. This mm. one doesn't. It, with all the mods you've done, it doesn't feel too much. Like it feels different. It feels like it's its own. If you get what I mean. I'm glad. I like to be different. Yeah. I'm home. The local fiends don't vouch, she won't get served. The cat's unknown, I don't owe no, I made money alone. That bees they curved the kid back then when I was so lit. Now I'm lit, they're pissed, told bro, bro, that you gotta take it slow, but he knows crime pay, so he won't go lit. We're 343, now 6 for 6. Put in the work for years for this, this ain't no coincidence, I did have to take them tricks. Could've, could've been in a bin if it weren't for the gloves that I had when I wrapped that wrist. That kid got nicked on an amateur ting, got banged that cling, take precaution. the exhaust is not standard. What, what happened with that? Where did you get that done? Um, so exhaust was done in Poland back when I okay. went to um, when I went to Poland. Okay. Um, they've modified the uh, so basically I bought the back box, Remus back box. Oh yeah. Um, we've modified the resonators, two resonators, um, and uh, it wasn't loud enough for me. <laughs> So I told them to, to um, modify the bug box as well, yeah. and this is how it is right now. Obviously, it's a decat. Yeah. Uh, I've uh, I bought the decat pipe four days after purchasing the car. Uh, so that's like one of the first things you wanted to yeah, do. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You knew you wanted that straight away. Yeah. Like, especially a car like this, like this is literally like a fast little car, so you need you need it to sound like one as well. Oh yeah, definitely. You had lots of work done. Like you said, you done most of the bits yourself. So, like, uh, so the bodywork, yeah. uh, splitter, diffuser, rediffuser, skirtings. I've done literally every single part myself oh, wow. with a jigsaw and <laughs> <laughs> just you know drawing uh, the, the shapes and yeah, everything, yeah. and then cutting it, cutting it. So how um, did you get into that then? What, you just uh, you know what there is a. My mate, uh, he owns the sickest RS6, okay. uh, and he's done his body uh, kit himself yeah, so. as well. 
So he motivated me to do, the, yeah, uh, do this. Yeah. Sometimes it's good, especially when that big lockdown happens. You have all that time, you know? Exactly, yeah. I've done all the mods during yeah, lockdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, you know, it takes up some stuff in your time. Yeah, definitely. And you, you learn lots of new things as well, so you have to be productive. No exactly. point in just sitting at home. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is, this is definitely powerful. Yeah. It's so smooth as well with the power. Oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. When you was just first started driving it, it did not feel like it's going to jump like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. How do you find it with the manual gearbox as well? Because you know a lot of people like the autos these days. No, a lot. You know, uh, probably most of the people are going to hate that for me. Yeah. Uh, hate me for that. No, but I think that's a good option, to be honest with you. That's a driver's car. And the way this exactly, car just Exactly, that's down, a yeah, driver's like a, car. Like, yeah. you know, yeah. oh. manual is for a man. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> It's amazing. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I like to control the car, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I've got a control on everything. Uh, and yeah, yeah, automatic is it's good, but sometimes when you want to drive, you, you, it's, it just it feels so easy. Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. it's good to just switch it up a bit. And I do oh, like yeah. that, yeah. That's true. Hey, and I'm really unfazed. Ha <laughs> ha. Don't test my patience. Half, half of the hood they show man love is paid that the rest are hating. Now, now got gal all around. Stole my wife from the west, my favorite. These cats are domesticated. Jason the station investigating. Thanks for tuning in on another episode of Bab the Petrol Head. I hope you guys all enjoyed that. I really enjoyed this M240i. Absolutely crazy. 460 brake horsepower really had me back in my seat there. Big thanks to David for that. And when he gets this big boy to around 600, 550 brake horsepower, we'll be back for part two. Might have to get a track day for that one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned in. For this, this ain't no coincidence. I did have to take them trips. Take them trips.